Hello everyone, welcome to Developers and Coders Club. Today we are here to discuss a problem named Cake Minator. So this is the problem statement. This problem is basically saying that you are given a R cross C cake. R cross C means row into column cake. And this cake is having some average strawberries in it. And what you have to do, you have to output the maximum number of cake cells which a person can eat. And the condition of eating is that when a person starts eating, either he can eat the whole row or the whole column isn't it whole row or the whole column you cannot eat half row or half column you have to eat the complete row and the complete column so the logic behind this is very simple uh, i have generated a sample question for you and uh, these these represent the number of avil strawberries and r is equal to 4 and c is equal to 5 so what we are going to do is Firstly, we have to calculate the number of rows which have avil strawberries. So, number of rows 1, 2, 3, where my pointer is going uh, highlighting. These are the number of rows which are having avil strawberries. Okay, so let me represent it with RO. And number of columns, number of columns which are having avil strawberries. So, this is CO is equal to 3. Now, what we have to do? Now we have to calculate the number of row which a person can eat. The number of row which a person can eat. So how are we going to calculate this? By TR means total row. Uh, we will multiply R into C minus. R into C means this complete. This complete cake. R into C minus row into column. Row means this row, this row and this row. If we if you minus these three rows, what we'll get? We're left with this row, total row. Okay. Understand this thing very carefully. Similarly, uh, for total column, in the same fashion, we'll do R into C, R into C, and we'll multiply this column, this column, or this column, and we'll subtract these three columns from R into C. Then we'll left with then we left with this column and this column okay we left with this column so the this row and this column are only edible rows and columns but one thing you are noticing that this particular cell and this particular cell we have considered it for two times isn't it we have considered it for two times so we have to subtract it once for subtracting it we are going to find the intersection which I am representing it by I and T. And how are, are we going to find intersection? That number of rows and number of columns. If we multiply number of rows by number of columns, then we are going to get intersection point. Isn't it? Logically think, if we are going to multiply number of rows by number of columns, then we will get the intersection point. And how are, uh, how are we going to find this? If we minus R from RO, RO means these three row, then we'll get this row. Okay, then we'll get this row. And after that, we'll multiply it C minus CO. C means total column minus CO, column having avil, avil strawberries. And if we multiply both, both of these, we'll get the intersection. We'll get the intersection. And finally, what we have to do is, we have to add these two and subtract the intersection in our answer uh, this is answer this is answer tr plus tc minus int means total row plus total column minus intersection so we are moving on to the final portion of the problem that is code yes uh, okay the code is very simple uh, as you have understood the logic behind this firstly we are going to uh, take input from user uh, row and column and after that we are declaring character array and we are taking in this portion of code we are taking input from the user now logic starts from here what we are doing in this portion of code we are uh, we are doing we are checking for i and j if i if row or j column is s is character s we have to increase row by one and break the loop and breaking the loop means we are breaking this for loop not not the whole for loop okay we are breaking this for loop and we are going but uh, we are automatically going to i is equals to 1 uh, automatically we are going to increase i okay in this way we can count the total number of rows in the similar fashion 
we are going to count total number of columns total number of columns and then uh, as i have already told you that after that we have to calculate intersection and in the answer portion we have to subtract the intersection from total row and total column so that's all for the solution thank you